Hello, this video is a quick video that goes over some of the problems in the homework writing ratios assignment. I'm just going to go over some of the more difficult questions that involve ge geometry and geometric ideas. Some of these questions ask you to just kind of think through and find information. What relationship does the ratio 2 to 1 represent in this situation? So you have to kind of look at all the different numbers and create a, relation, a ratio of 2 to 1 and match it up with what they have right down here. And sometimes you have to like find information and do a little math to figure out some information. It's asking you for their wins to losses ratios, yet they don't tell you how many losses there are. You have to figure that out. I'm going to skip down here. Those are some good ones. You're looking at a bar diagram. Uh, statements, of course, there are more than one statement. That is correct on these, so you can look through and think through those, which statements are accurate. Here are some of the questions I want to really get to because we want to make sure you understand what base and height of a triangle are. A triangle, of course, you know what a triangle is, so you should be able to identify the triangle. The base of a triangle would be the, the I guess some people would say the bottom portion of it, or the, it doesn't always have to be the bottom. The height of it is going to be at a right angle, always a 90 degree angle. So we have the base and we have the height. This is the base. This is the height. Notice that they are always at a right angle to each other. And then the height will always go to the opposite point or vertex of the triangle. So you're looking for that ratio of base to height. And that's the same thing here. Here we're looking at perimeter. The perimeter, you don't have to pull out a, a ruler and try to measure these. You're simply saying these are all toothpicks. These are all the same length. Every line that you see here is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter what number we put in there. If the toothpick was two inches long, it would be two, 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 two. Everything would be twos all the way around. And it would have the exact same ratio as if the toothpick were five inches long and everything was a five. The ratios would always be the same. So we can just simply say this is a one. Count each of these lines. What would the ratio or what would the perimeter of this square B if we just said each one was a one. One, two, three, four. You got it. Count these and then create a ratio using those numbers. The perimeter of the square, perimeter of the octagon. Down here we're looking at uh, perimeter also. So we're looking at the perimeter of this square and the perimeter of this shape here. You're doing the same thing, same idea, where you're counting the lines that make up the perimeter and comparing them in ratio form. Here we're looking at area, which is totally different. Area is the flat space. So what is the flat space of this square compared to the flat space of this pattern right here? You are comparing those two things. So this is, you might say, well, this is one square right here, and, and you're going to be counting those as well. I think I've Gave you a lot of information on that, <laughs> a lot of help with that. What is the ratio of the perimeters to the triangle to the hexagon? You're going to do the same, same idea with this, okay, where you're counting the lines and comparing the two perimeters. Uh, that's all that uh, I have. I just wanted to do a quick review for you if anybody needed a little bit of extra help. Thank you. Bye-bye.